Hi, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video we will discuss a question on projection of planes regarding pentagonal plane whose surface angle has to be found out and the given data includes two adjacent sides appearing reduced in front view. This is one of the popular questions. Let us take the example. A pentagonal plane ABCDE of 50 mm side is having its corner A in VP and surface of plane inclined to VP such that the front view of side AB and AE measures 45 mm. Draw the projections of the plane when the line joining the corners V and E is parallel to VP and 45 degree inclined to HP. Find inclination of the plane with VP. Writing the given data first. Pentagonal plane ABCDE of side 50 mm. So if only one dimension is mentioned, by default it's a regular pentagon. Then again corner A is in VP, surface of plane inclined to VP. Then front view of side AB and AE measures 45 mm, another given data. Then line joining corners B and EE parallel to VP and 45 degree inclined to HP. So theta is 45 degrees here. We have to find the surface angle with VP that is phi equals to how much. Let's analyze the given data first. Surface inclined to VP which suggests true shape will be visible in front view. One more hint regarding the same. Front view of side AB and AE measures 45 mm that is reduced shape is in front view. Now this is the only position possible of pentagon in which corner A can be in VP when it is on a left and such that when you incline the surface with VP sides AB and AE gets reduced by the same amount and measures 45 mm in front view. So this is the position you have to take in true shape. Let us draw the actual 2D solution now. Taking XY line, taking some distance. Now this distance I suggest you take at least or more than 50 mm. Then you have to draw a projector. Now I am drawing the pentagon from right towards left because Drawing it from the left side is more difficult or you can say it is more time consuming. So what I suggest this distance you have to keep at least 1.5 times or more than the given dimension. So here it is 50 mm. So let us take we are taking here as more than 75 mm. Okay now you have this distance as 50 so taking 25 on each side and then using this side you have to complete the pentagon. So you have to name it. After naming it, take the projectors down, complete the top view, name corresponding points. Then here we don't have the surface angle for the next step but what is given to us front view of side AB and AE measures 45 mm. So actually these sides are 50 mm here in our true shape but in next view in next reduced shape they will appear only as 45 mm. So you have to take a point name it as A1 dash. Now taking compass radius equals to 45 mm keeping a compass at A1 dash here and cutting on B dash line B1 dash the new point and cutting on E dash line E1 dash the new point you have to join them now make sure you don't complete the remaining pentagon here because nothing is mentioned regarding the side BC and DE how much they are reduced no doubt they are going to reduce but by what amount we don't know that's why you don't complete the pentagon yet you have to take the projectors down a point now if these two sides are reduced means a b will be inclined here so you have to take compass a b as your radius this is the radius keeping compass at a here cutting on this projector naming it joining the line now taking complete distance a to c in compass keeping your compass here cutting it naming the point and drawing the second top view. Now you can take the projector up. This is the required angle phi which has to be found out. You can measure it now. By taking this projector up by intersection you obtain C1 dash and D1 dash. You just have to join in sequence. You have completed the second front view that is the reduced shape. Now the third thing mentioned here is line joining corner B and E is parallel to 
VP and 45 degree inclined to HP. Now the line is perpendicular to HP. You have to keep this line at 45 degrees. Taking a point E1 dash and theta equals to 45 degrees, joining a line. Taking compass, radius equals to E1 dash to B1 dash in compass, keeping compass here. Cutting it, obtaining B1 dash. Now, again using the compass E1 dash to A1 dash in compass, we know that these two sides are same. So you have to keep compass on E1 dash here, cut an arc. Now keep the compass here at B1 dash with the same radius, cut this arc, name it as A1 dash, join it. Now the remaining points. E1 dash to D1 dash in compass. So this is the radius we are talking about. Keeping compass here, drawing an arc. Then B1 dash to D1 dash. So this should be the radius now. And your compass should be here. Cutting this arc. This is D1 dash. Now remaining point C. So E1 dash to C1 dash. So E1 dash to C1 dash in compass. Keeping your compass here. Cutting an arc. Then B1 dash to C1 dash. So this is the distance we are talking about. This has a radius. Keeping your compass here. Cutting it. Naming it as C1 dash. Now join it in sequence. B1 dash to C1 dash. C1 dash to D1 dash. D1 dash to E1 dash. Now taking the projectors down. This is A1. B from this side. Intersection is at this location. B1. C. C1. Likewise D1 and E1. Joining it in sequence A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. So this completes the solution and as per the given data everything is correct. It says line joining corners B and E is parallel to VP and 45 degree inclined to HP. So this is the theta which is inclination with HP and line joining B and E corners and it is parallel to XY. So everything is satisfied as per the given conditions. If you do all these things correctly on your sketchbook then this angle which has to be found out you will get a value approximately 49 degrees. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe it. Like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.